Jordan Blaze here. Today I'm going to be painting Goose Feather Warrior Cat Custom. And before I start, I have a little update. So I have this like cat bank. It's kind of big, so I can't throw it fully, but it's wooden around the edges and it has glass in the center. And I painted it rainbow, obviously. And um, basically, I put a bunch of Warrior Cat names in here and then I have like subscriber choice and subscriber OC where I'm going to randomly pick one of you guys who comment on my video and... Uh, I will paint your OC or if you have a specific character and then you can buy it from me. And then some of these cats will also be up for sale, but those ones are more specific to that person. And at the end of every warrior cat painting video, I will choose the cat for the next video out of the little hole at the bottom because this is like a bank. Anyway, let's get started. Feather is described as plump, speckled gray tom. He has shaggy and like ragged fur and he has pale blue eyes. And I narrowed it down to these three cats. This cat is plump, but it does not have the ragged fur. So I decided that that one's not it. These two, they both have ragged fur. They're not necessarily plump, but like they're close enough. They're, they do look bigger built, so that's fine. And I was, because I've used this one a lot. And I think I like the mold a little better. But I also kind of wanted to experiment with this one. And I kind of, I don't know, for some reason I thought this matched him. I don't know. So I, I'm going to choose this one. Use acetone and a q-tip to clean the factory paint off of the cat, and this is very important because it makes it easier to paint. And then after that, I just drown my cat in water, so then it washes the extra acetone off so the acetone doesn't eat away at the plastic. And then you just start adding the base coat, which is light gray. Next, I took the original gray and mixed a drop of black in it so it'd be slightly darker and then I used that to put the speckles on Goose Feather. And then on his tail, I just painted the tail tip in. Once the fur was dry, I used a thin paintbrush and a light blue paint to paint the eyes, and then a thin black marker. And then once those were dry, I just used the lighter gray to fill in the parts that I may have gone out of the eye mold. And then you used a light pink mixed with a little bit of tan for the nose. Since I'm going to be selling this, I added in a little medicine cat herb box. So basically it has a resin little container that I made and then I put berries, flowers, stems, and moss in it. And this is the finished product. If you want to buy it, my Etsy is in the description below or you can just search up Blaze1313 on Google or Etsy. And if you want to find out who I'm painting next time, wait just a couple seconds really. <laughs> Okay, that's Goose Feather. I forgot to take his name out again. White Storm.